Important to manufacture is that point in time when a concept moves from being an idea to becoming reality. A moment for the designer to rightly feel happy and proud. But there is always that nagging doubt. Did I have all the latest source files? Were all the outputs configured correctly? Have I forgotten any files? Are all the parts still available and at the right price? Using Altium Designer's comprehensive design data management system, those fears and doubts can become a thing of the past. By using the security and traceability of storage repositories on both the design and the release side, with a simple and well-controlled release process in between, Altium Designer turns this stressful time of convoluted file generation and management into a simple and straightforward process. So where and how does that happen? Let's review the overall process. On the design side, a project is stored in a design repository. The files are checked out to work on. You create and configure output job files to generate the various outputs needed for release. You define a PCB configuration for each thing you need to make, including each variant. And you define an item revision in your Altium Vault where the output file set for each release will be stored. You can then release or re-release the design whenever you are ready, using Altium Designer's PCB release view. The top of the PCB release view shows the currently open projects. Below that is a tab for each configuration defined for the current project. This one has two configurations, one for the bare board and one for the assembled board. The real strength of the PCB release process is that everything is monitored. Nothing can be released unless all files are in the correct state. Here it is telling me that I have unsaved work. I'll save the modified file. It then tells me that my working copy does not match the master copy in the design repository, so I need to check that file in. This is important because the release process does not use my working files. It checks out a snapshot from the repository and generates all outputs from that snapshot, guaranteeing that the correct files are used for output generation. That snapshot is then stored along with the output files as part of the release process. Now that all the files are up to date, I can process this configuration. There are two ways I can do that, in design mode or in release mode. Design mode generates the output files but does not commit them to the vault. Use design mode to check that the design validates, that all output files are generating correctly and they have the right settings and formats. When you're ready, switch to release mode and click the commit release button. As you can see from the buttons, the snapshot is checked out, validation is performed, outputs are generated, and finally the files are checked into the vault. Here you can see the results in the vault. The released files and the design snapshot. The output files can be downloaded from here or published to a predefined publishing location. We'll talk more about publishing in another video.